Goku and Nora are on a mission to find seven crystal balls, which, upon collecting all seven, will grant them an audience with the Dragon Emperor, who will grant them a single wish. What will they wish for? Well, that's up to you to decide. Dragon Power is a single player game, primarily a top down beat em up kind of game, which was released in North America in 1988. Dragon Power was originally released in Japan in 1986 and was actually the first Dragon Ball game released for a Nintendo console. Clearly, some genius didn't think Dragon Ball would do well in North America, so they changed it up quite a bit. In Dragon Power, Goku more closely resembles a monkey, and Master Roshi looks completely different. Most of the characters were also renamed Bulma is now Nora, Yamcha is called Lancer, and Oolong is called Pudgy. I also just wanted to note that the Japanese version of the game seems to run quite a bit smoother, but my experience with the Japanese version is pretty limited. In Dragon Power, you use the B button to attack and the A button to jump. Once you learn the Wind Wave, you can execute it by holding B and then pressing a, which will fire a powerful projectile, but these projectiles require ammunition, which you obtain by collecting turtle shells. When you defeat enemies, they occasionally drop scrolls, which may contain a power-up like turtle shells or meat, which will restore some of your health. Your health is constantly draining in Dragon Power, even when you don't take damage. This feature is super annoying, so collecting food to restore your health is critical. Another power-up is the sandwich, which makes you run really fast for a short amount of time. In the Japanese version, these sandwiches are actually a pair of panties, so you can see why they changed that one. In fact, the Japanese version has tons of perverted panties references, with Master Roshi constantly demanding Bulma's panties as payment, which makes for some uncomfortable cutscenes. These cutscenes survive in the North American version, with the panties being replaced by sandwiches, which were kind of funny in a WTF kind of way before I found out about the whole panties thing. When I first started this game, I had no idea I'd end up talking about panties so much, and yet, here we are. Speaking of the cutscenes, calling them poorly translated is probably paying them a compliment. This is where nearly all of my enjoyment of Dragon Power comes from. I did laugh several times at the awful translation, and I've released a companion video which you can find in the description below, which contains every single cutscene in the game in the order they appear if you'd like a chuckle or two. Good luck trying to decipher what the heck is going on and enjoy. There are 10 levels in Dragon Power and as I mentioned previously, most of the time you'll be traversing the game in a top-down view pummeling your enemies. Most of the boss fights play out in an extremely crude 2D fighting game style. You'll also occasionally have 2D platforming sections which, in my opinion, were far more fun than the top-down portions of the game. Dragon Power has unlimited continues but there's a bit of a catch to that which I'll get to in a moment. If you manage to beat level 6, you'll find yourself with all 7 crystal balls, summon the dragon, and get to select a wish. These wishes include move the dragon in the title, which simply animates the dragon at the title screen, I want the sandwich, which plays the panty sandwich cutscene, or power up. While it kind of feels like the game should have just ended here, you should choose power up, which will increase your life substantially because you still have 4 levels to go and if you're aiming to beat the game, you'd better buckle up. These final four levels are ridiculously challenging. The game does not refill your health between levels, and the health refills are few and far between. If you do finally succumb to your injuries during the final four levels, continuing starts you back at the beginning of level seven, which is cruel at best and rage-inducing at worst. I'm gonna be honest here, after countless attempts to beat the game, restarting at level seven over and over, and near Nearly making it through the final level multiple times, I'd simply had enough and used a game genie just so I could see the end of the game and I was still disappointed. By that time, the badly translated cutscenes had kind of lost their charm and my patience had been exhausted and I just wanted to play another game any other game. What started out as a quirky, silly, entertaining journey ended in despair and disdain. I give Dragon Power a kinda yucky one out of five. The panties being replaced by sandwich with, well, shoo. Cutscenes had kind of lost their charm and my patience had been, 